let us talk about the Nera notes and matters arising. A little bit of the background. Just yesterday, Senate demands extension of old, old notes deadline to July 31st. The Senate asked the Central Bank of Nigeria to extend the deadline of the deposit of old notes from January 31st to July 31st. But the upper chamber also hushed the CBN to open an exchange window where people who do not have bank accounts deposit their old notes. And a lot of motions were raised in line of this, whereby our senators they had uh, different uh, views on this uh, particular topic as regards the deadline for old narrow notes. To do the analysis on old narrow notes and matters arising, we are with us in the studio, Reverend Dr. Soji. Good morning, sir. Thank you for having me. The state of the nation bringing it down to this uh, design of narrow notes, there was a target for it. And now we are hoping that it is going to stop uh, vote buying. But as it is the reality on ground, what does it showcase? Thank you very much. There are two ways I want to look at this. One way is to look at it in the fact that most times Nigerians are not good at meeting deadlines. In most cases, we usually want to wait towards the tail end of the line before we say, ah, we have not done this. Look at the issue of I mean, PVC. You know, mm. and like I've been saying, that a lot of PVCs are just there lying there and nobody coming. But what is about a week to do something, you see the rushing. So that's the problem. Having said that too, the government too has, you know, their own fault, uh, especially the notice very short. Especially in terms of swapping of the owner, owner, I mean, new notes for the old one. Having said that, I want to say that there's no way the government will not, I mean, the CBN will not do something here in terms of extension of the time. Because when you look at it, there are a lot of people, especially people from the rural area, who have been complaining, not even the rural, even in the urban centers, people have been complaining that they have not been able to change, I mean, to see these new narrow notes. One, they are not on the ATM. One would have thought from now on, I mean, commercial banks should have been stocking their ATM with these new narrow notes. Even the POS people, you know, they are not, they are not having it. And we are saying that they were going to stop the summit by the 31st of January. This is about a few days to this time. People have been saying that they have not, they are not. Saying, of course, if you go to the ATM, you don't find new notes there. You go to the POS, they don't have the new notes. How do you not want, I mean, citizens to get the new notes? I think, the, I mean, the commercial banks should have deposited their old notes, go to the CBN, drop that for them, then come with new notes. Then we can know that everybody that will be coming will be able to, I mean, to see the something. But if that's not the case, how do you know you, want, you, are, you are not going to extend it? The other time they said that um, the governors will have a Zoom meeting with the CBN. At the end of the day, it's still the same thing. CBN is insisting that they are still going to stop it by the 1st of January. Since I'm talking, NAS, I mean, National Assembly have been saying this. Then why are you not saying that? It has to stop at the first well, Why do you think Mifili must have insisted on uh, the uh, deadline that it should be generated? Well, I, I, my own something is maybe it's the issue of this vote buying. They are saying they want to cop it because election is in a even when they stop the, the something by 31st of January, election will be about a few days. Mm. Uh, so if the man has been saying that, look, if you want to change whatever, go and do that because this issue of vote buying, they just want to ensure that they discourage all these money back politicians I mean, from engaging in vote buying or giving people money to buy. So, it could be one of the reasons. But I think also, I don't see the reason why the man will be insisting without the knowledge of the government. Do I know CBN is an independent something? But at the same time, it's under the, 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 the federal government. They should have called him to order. Look, there's no, because people have been complaining all over the place. So if the man is insisting, insisting well, one may not know the reason why he's insisting that this thing must just go at the 1st of January. But that's what I'm saying that if the government is insisting that that's, I mean, the CBN is saying that they want to, you know, they won't extend between, I mean, beyond that first of January. Mm -hmm. Let our people go out there. But if people get to where they want to swap, they didn't get it, what do they do? Because I think about two days ago, they are saying that they will go to rural communities, they will do that. Bring, but have they been able to do that? Even if they have been doing it, has it produced any effective result to show that people have been it? But of course, since I've been coming here, 
I've been going around. I've not. Been, well, I've been seeing the new news, but it's not as content as one would have expected. Yes. It. Yeah, because if you are saying this, something is about four, I mean seven days or thereabout to this time, you are going to extend it, and it's not all over the place. I think one would have thought it should have flooded all over. People have been seeing it in the market, in the you know, malls, in the stores, everything. But that's not the case. And looking at what we have, although for you, our dear viewers, to be part of the discussion this morning, you can simply dial the number that will be displayed on your TV screen to be part of the discussion as regards the old and the new narrow notes and matters arising. It's what we have on ground, even though the reality says that there is no new notes on ground. But yeah. there was a time that CBN also alleged the commercial banks that they are the one that has not been coming to pick up uh, the, the new notes. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It should have be, it, you know, it behaves on the commercial banks to go to CBN and collect the new narrow notes. And the other thing is this, the issue of corruption in Nigeria, in the system. Now, you discover that some people, especially this, some of these, you know, wealthy people, are having the new narratives. I went somewhere, I think last week, and that person, you know, packed new notes, new narrow notes. Whatever is, the, the envelope has been given to people were full of new narrow notes. And not I was thinking, not old ones. And I was thinking, where could this man have gotten this? When it's not, it's not even outside. So, People have been saying that the commercial banks are selling these new notes. Maybe I use the word sell, you know, in quotes and unquote, to people that matters in the society, the wealthy people, those who can buy their way to get it. And this this should not be the way. But that's what is happening now. And that's why CBN2 is saying that look, the, the, the central banks are conniving, you know, and they are they are they are culpable of this reason why the money is not circulating. Because they have been giving it to them. Of course, the commercial bank should come out and say, "Ah, it is not our pro problem. Oh, this what we have not getting it from CBN. They have not come out to deny that. CBN is saying that he has given this something to yeah, them. There, there, they can there, come there to collect." There was statement he issued yesterday at the Monetary <coughs> Policy Committee, Committee yeah. when he spoke. He said, yes. "I don't have good news for those who want the deadline of four exactly. naira to be changed exactly because we will not move it." People are holding and voting the naira in their houses, and they don't have the license to, to do, do that, that because they use it to speculate on the naira he said the apex bank are so far mopped up about 1.5 trillion naira hoping to achieve about 2 trillion before the deadline okay. and he said we have pleaded with the economic and financial crimes commission and the independent corrupt practices not to harass anybody and on my honor they will not do that now i, I told you something Two ways, those who are conniving with, I mean, who are selling the new narrow notes to wealthy people, and then our people too should not allow themselves to be deceived. If the government is saying that we are not going to extend this, those who have the money with them at home, they should go out there and deposit. I mean, to commercial banks. At the same time, the CBN should come out to say. We have given this money to Suso banks and the commercial banks too. If that is not true, they should come out and deny it so that we know where exactly we are going and what exactly we are doing. Of course, if the CBN is saying they will not extend it, nobody is saying they could, they, they could, I mean, they could extend. But even if it is one month or two, so that we can use the money, you know, uh, simultaneously. Mm. So once we have the new, we have the old. They will say, well, we can take this to um, this too. But what is the social time? But one month there about we won't take the old again. That could have been better. But I'm looking at the situation now where the 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 the, the, the stoppage of the, the use of the old notes is about few days. That's what I'm saying. 31st of January. And today is 25th. So about six days. And with what is going on in the society now, and in the market, wherever, how are they going to do it so that we can have the new notes circulating over? In fact, almost everywhere. It's still the new notes. I mean, it's still the old, old notes. notes. Where are we going to get it? Even, Where are we even, getting the even new? The ATMs. One, even one, the ATMs. That's what I'm saying. So say that he has not even uh, uh, seen that new the notes. new notes. And and that's what I'm suspecting that about a month or two months ago, they are, should, should have been stocking the ATM with the new notes. So if I'm going to collect money now, I will know I'm going to collect the new the ones. Notes. But except we are still having the old ones there. Even the previous people that are going to collect money from the bank, they are still giving them old notes. Where are we now going? How are we going to get? And we are not meeting the money ourselves. So what are we going to do?
Well, uh, to you, our dear viewers, to be part of the conversation, you can simply dial the number that is displayed on your TV screen. What is the situation like in your area? What has been the experience like you dealing with the new notes and the old notes? What has been the rush? Have you been rushing? And what has been the reality? You can share your opinion with us on the number that is displayed on your TV screen. And Reverend uh, Soji Adiogo, yes. moving forward now, is there any hope uh, that CBN, even though he has insisted, the governor has insisted, that's no going back on the deadline? But with what we are having, people that are not reality. using banks, we have people that they are not using banks. How do they want to do the exchange? They say that, okay, people should go, the banker should go to villages to mop it out. Mm. But the reality on ground, how do we want to survive it? Well, I think it's, it's two ways. I said the other time that our people too should, when the government makes a policy, they should be quick at implementing that policy. In most cases, Nigerians are, you know, just after, when is the deadline? When you say go and do this, people will just stay back and relax as if nothing will come. Until when it's about, look at the issue of NIN. Look at your PVC. BVN. 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 NIN. PVC. Look at It's always at the tail end that people begin to run. It's not good enough. You know. But having said that, uh, people that are having money at home too, although it's not good for us to keep money, and that's what we want to ensure they do cashless society so that we'll not be carrying cash all about. But those who are having the money at home, I want to advise them, let them go out and you know and uh, exchange it for the new but the question is still the same thing now. Where are those new notes? That is something. So what I'm thinking is let's see continue to impress it on the CBN. Maybe you will have a listening ear and then they extend it. But I think that if the National Assembly is talking if people, the public opinion is that they should extend it, I think maybe for about a month or so, they should just, because there's no way we want to do it. If they want to extend it now, it's going to cause confusion. Because by 31st of January, you are saying you should use the old notes again. And we're not having the new one. We're not cause no problem within the, I mean, in, in the society. When you want to give it to a driver, the man said, no, I can't take this, this old again. The man, the man said, I don't have the new, because I, don't, I can't find it. And it's going to cause a, a lot of trouble, a lot of confusion within society if this extension is not effective. And looking at the new NERA notes, we said redesigned. Yeah. The Senate addressed it as uh, color changing, mm. re recoloring of, of the, mm, the NERA notes. Now, I think that is quite demeaning on our national medium of exchange. Well, I, I, to me, the issue of redesigning or recoloring there may not be a problem as long as it is still used as a ten a legal tender, tender. if that is what we are using no matter the color it doesn't matter after all the one thousand is not the same thing as the, the color of the, the old mm. uh, one thousand the same thing with uh, 500 the one is about green something one thousand is about blue and the other one i think that one is red or something so I mean, I like for NAS to be saying that I don't think that's any as long as it's still accepted as a legal tender, it doesn't matter, you know. If you're not saying the quality of some, some people have been saying that they're washing it, is uh, what do we call it now that changes color when they work. I don't think that is possible, although I've not tried it, but I don't think that is possible. But whatever it is, as long as it's accepted as a legal tender, we should going to use it if that's what we are using in the country, no matter the design, we're not the color, no, no matter the, 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 the quality. Which is just going to use it. In, in one of the motions raised by Sunder Soli APC Katsina okay. on plenary this uh, yesterday, he okay. said that in other climes uh, that currencies were being fished out mm -hmm. and not forced out. Mm -hmm. Fished out, then they ease it the, gradual. the, gradually. It is a gradual gradually. process. Uh, and that's what we are uh, saying. I'm here. looking at what is happening in UK also as uh, regards. Uh, uh, the, after the death of Kennedy, exactly. it was said that just, it, there will be no production of the old notes, and but the new will keep on being produced. Exactly, that out. is it. Why, why should we embark on that? Is it, it out? two ways? I want to look at it. Like you said, in the cleaner environment, it is. It can even take a year. They can be using the two until when they discover that the old has been eased out before they now be but i began to now say okay we can't use the old again you know, begin to use the new that's how it should be but here yeah, maybe is a way of election is coming and we know what has been happening in the past that people have been using 
I mean, how people have been using the money to coerce the people, to 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 to, to induce them, and things like that. We, we were all aware of the issue of vote buying all over the place. Maybe because of that, and because of the importance of the general election that is coming through in the three, they are saying that look, let's put a stop to this. And one of the ways to do that is to change that narrative before the election. I think that could be one of the political reasons why the man is insisting that it starts to be like that. And that's, but I think they should have thought this. Earlier. But of course, for the past four years or there about, they know there's going to be election in 2023. If that's what they want to do, they should have thought about this change of something. No, I mean, earlier yeah, than early, this. Early enough. Early enough. About two years, there about, exchanging, exchanging, and then the ship begin to ease out until now. But we are not bringing this out, not about three, I think it's about three months after the, the, the designing. They are necessarily going to mop up the everything else. That's no way that would be possible. Now, so now, that now, can meet the target of 2023. The, the commercial family. blanks are claiming that they do not have the new NERA notes. Okay. And the CBN is also claiming that the banks have, have it. Who should we believe? Where yeah. should we go now? No, no matter what, they should only be careful so that they will not cause confusion within the society, within the, among the populace. Mm -hmm. Because I know that whatever they are doing, it is the people, That's a ordinary idea. citizens, that will be punished for this. Because, you know, it, it's like the, the, the fight of two titans now which the grasses will suffer it because we are the ones that will bear the brunt if you ask, i go to the market and i want to give the market woman to buy something and the man the, the woman said i can't collect this old news and i'm having i'm not having the old i mean the new am i not going to be punished for that whatever i want that will be you want to buy food items you can't buy it you want to go to the market you want to go to the mall you want to go to the store you can't go. then where are we going so what i'm saying is they should set to their differences no matter what the federal government should come it should wade into this and call the cbn to order or the both the commercial banks and the and the central bank of nigeria they should find a way of sorting out this thing so that to not affect the ordinary citizens mm -hmm. this story is too much i mean it's enough for us to add more to it even when you have the money as legal tender and you can't use it you will suffering yourself you know you where you want to buy something you can't buy it your conveniences will be, will, will be jettisioned because of the fire of two, of, of, of two elephants i think they should think about it and and and, and would, uh, would you support what the proposed uh, uh deadline to be july 31st instead of january 31st? well it depends one may say july is too far if that is if the government wants to be of course they know that by may 29 they don't think that means they're not going to come. So if they're now saying July, I think to me, I don't know, but I think it may be too far, you know. But at least if they can add about three months to this, it should be able to help us. But like I said, if they are targeting the election, February and March, then I don't know if they'll be able to do that. But I, I, but I don't support that the thing should end by 31st of July. The new note is not there out there for us to collect. That's what I'm saying. We also appreciate you for coming on the program this morning. Thank Reverend you very Dr. much. Adeogo, Thank you for having your analysis. Thank and you to you, much. our dear viewers, it's been a wonderful moment with you, sharing our thoughts with you. And I hope that in whatsoever we are doing, we get to meet up with the deadline first. Uh, they will say obey before, before any complain. formal that uh, is complaints, complaints that will be lodged. Yes. And that is a wrap of AM Cafe today on Impact Africa Television. Tomorrow will be another time that you will get to also enjoy another moment with us. Say then, I am Uluwashim. Oye Badi, have a beautiful day ahead. Bye for now.